Procession marked the beginning of violence that has left dozens dead. Hello everyone. We, the Ormu Youth of Canada, have a message for the world. For those of you who don't know us, we are the Ormu Youth Association of Canada. Our mission is to unify all the Ormu Canadians, starting with our youth. We hear and stand with our youth. Our youth are our future. We are all Wollo. The Wollo people are a group of people that belong to Oromia in what is now present day Ethiopia. They are part of the 11 tribes in Oromia and they are largely known for their food, their clothes, and their willingness to help others when trouble arises. <laughs> We are Wallo. As we speak, the Wallo people are being ethnically cleansed by the Ethiopian government, only because of their identity. They have been facing injustice, oppression, abuse, and torture for the last 153 years. They need our help. We are all Oromo. Wallo is Oromo. We are all Wallo. Many citizens in the Wallo region have lost their homes, are displaced from family, and are severely injured. There are many graphic images circling social media of injured victims, burned down villages, and displaced people. We don't need to share these to say the situation is extremely dire. The Wallo have helped other regions in their time of need, and now it's our turn. It's our duty to help our brothers and sisters in Wallo who are facing displacement and death. Their homes have been burned down to ashes. They have no food or water to get through the day. And for those Muslim Wallos who are fasting, they have nothing to break their fast, no food or water or even a date. Eyewitnesses unequivocally point to the Amara Regional Special Forces as the culprits. The Amara Regional Government, on the other hand, denies these accusations and instead use Oromo and Tigray groups as scapegoats. Terrorism, militia, Amara, Tin, Ummata Khengarra, Tigagifa, Majuru, Wan Arrajal Kabame Miti. Wanuma aboti sani tin jalk abame sanumatu itifu fujira. Oromo la fadalota sani rabuk asu fidugugu. Vimirga hengad itun sena oromo hesati. Wan amata iba shantami ol nurra god amajuru. We are all lolo. Namni henga nafa henga. On March 24th, Amara regional forces uh, arrived in Wallo claiming that the military, their military, was fighting Oromo militia fighters in the area. These lies were debunked by the BBC, who confirmed that the Amara regional forces are actually targeting non-combats such as Oromo farmers, friends, and even a wedding party. According to an MP speaking at the Ethiopian's 11th parliamentary session, the Amara militia used a group as a cover to commit war war crime against Oromo farmers in Wollo for three major reasons. First is because of their national identity as Oromo, second because of their religious identity as Muslim, and third they were using atrocity to, as a beginning chip to get all the demand men in the Oromo region. We are Wollo. Human rights violations exist in Ethiopia, not just in Tigray, as the events in Wollo demonstrate. Extrajudicial killings, wrongful imprisonments, mass rapes, and all other heinous crimes committed against the Oromo people must be brought to light. Since late March, at least 328 Oromo civilians have died in the Wollo regions and North Shewa zones. Seven wounded people were ambushed and killed on their way to the hospital in Gori Meda on April 20th. The war is still going on. The soldiers are looting and burning houses. Innocent lives are being taken. The Ethiopian federal government has taken no control to put an end to this violence. We have started fundraising for Wallo and youth. We need all of you. Get in touch with your local Oromo Youth Association or groups to donate. We are the future and we cannot afford to wait any longer. We are the Oromo Youth Association of Canada and we are all Wallo. This pandemic has shown us what is truly important in this world, each other. 
Let's do our part in helping one another and extending a hand whenever we can. I encourage you all to give up one thing this week, whether that's your coffee or iced frap, and consider donating that, even if it's $10 to the Willow people. You can help by learning more about the Willow and Oromo people, continue amplifying our struggle, join protests and Twitter campaigns, and last but not least, sharing this video on all your social media platforms. Oromo man, lafeduk de Oromo ti. Kanaf, namnikein, nafakein.